All right, on this episode of DevOps Unlocked, we are going to be discussing the Ansible Vault. Ansible Vault allows you to encrypt any structured data used by Ansible. Examples of this would be API keys, secrets, passwords, or specific configuration settings that apply to your application. Here are the four commands we will review today. First one is the Ansible Create. Second is the Ansible Vault View. Third is the Ansible Vault Edit. And then the fourth and final will be the Ansible Vault Rekey. All right, let's not waste any time. I'll show you how to create a vault file. To do so, you'll invoke ansible-vault space create and then the name of your vault file. You'll have to provide a custom password that you set and you'll have to repeat that password to confirm it. Once you do so, you'll be brought into a text editor. It's VI by default, and then you can add your secrets. So I'll do that here, I'll speed it up, and then we can move on. Okay, so if you wanted to view the vault file that you just created, this command's very simple. You're gonna wanna invoke ansible-vault space view, and then space the name of your file. So for me, it's webvault.yml. Okay, so if you want to edit your vault file, you're going to invoke ansible-vault space edit and then the name of your file. You'll be prompted to input your password twice. Once you do so, you'll be able to then edit it using VI. Like I said, it's VI by default, so I'm just going to add a couple additional items here and then we can move on to actually deploying our config file with the populated API keys. And for the fourth and final command, that's the rekey. So if I wanted to change the vault password, it's ansible-vault space rekey. You have to input your existing vault password. Once you do so, you'll be prompted to create a new password. You'll set it twice. Once you hit enter, it'll say it's successful. Okay, let's work through this scenario, which is you've been asked to deploy a web app on a Linux server. The web app has an enterprise license and you need to deploy it with Ansible Vault. For the demo purposes, we're actually gonna provide and present the keys in an HTML page. In a real world setting, this would probably be listed in a configuration file. Um, however, just to kind of demonstrate the end result, I'll put it on a website, but that necessarily won't be the case in real world settings. All right, so to begin, we'll build this playbook. Host, I'm gonna specify web vault and my host file will be on the underneath that section in my inventory file. Gather facts, I'll set the true. It doesn't need to be true though for, for this purpose. Become, I will set to true because I will need pseudo privileges. My vars file, this is gonna be the vault file that we had created. I'll specify web vault. In some situations, you may need to put that under a directory called templates. And then we can begin our task. So for the task, I'm gonna say configure vault and then use these files to insert variables, or sorry, use the vault file to insert variables. The module I will call is the Ansible built-in module. And I'll just give this a source of webvault.html and I'll use Jinja2. Jinja2 will be the template in which I will insert the variables. Destination will be var www webvault.html. And then owner, this is a Amazon Linux machine, so it'll be EC2 user. For group, I'll set it as Apache, so it has the proper permissions. And then for the mode, I will set it to 644. I don't have to do this, but I will restart Apache, so I'm going to list that task next. Call this Restart Apache, and then I will specify the service module, and the name of the service is HTTPD, and I'll change the state to Restarted. Alright, so for our configuration file, let's just pretend this is not an HTML page and you have to insert your license. So right here where I begin typing the test password is colon, you know, this would be say something like input your API key. And so for the variable that I have in my vault file, I will wrap that in double curly brackets 
and specify it as such how you see it on your screen. I'm going to repeat this line again and then insert the other key as well. So let me just do that here real quick. And here will be another view of this config file alongside with our vault. And so if you focus your attention on the right, you'll notice that under the secret section, I have key one and key two. And, and then on the left, you'll see that I have it as such, secrets.key1. And so I expect the first key to state ABC123. And then below that, you have web secrets and key three with this 485N. And the second number should also, or I'm sorry, the second key will also have that value of 485N, V, and so forth. So let's get this deployed and we'll see the results when we are finished. All right, so let's invoke our playbook with ansible-playbook and we'll specify the name of our playbook that we created, which is deploy-webvault. I'll specify my inventory file and because I'm connecting to Amazon Linux, I'll connect as EC2 user. You will need to invoke ask-vault-pass and then I'm gonna pass a private key. This may not apply to you and we'll hit enter here it'll prompt us for our vault password so i'll invoke that it should run and restarting apache this was successful so if i take this ip address here and if i'll fire up our chrome browser and i'll paste the ip address and following that i will invoke or sorry add web vault.html and here we go. Here are the results. So these values were passed from our vault file. We have ABC123. And then the second key is this 485N value. So this was successful. This is exactly how you would want, want it to see. And yeah, this is great. So we'll mark this as success. We were able to insert a license and a password into our web application. And we used Ansible Vault to store the password and the template module to insert it successfully. And that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up, the subscribe, and the notification bell. It would definitely mean a lot. Also, I noticed several of you are not subscribing, so if you can also please subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys back next week for another video. Thanks, and have a good one.